All right, we're back on the road once again here. We got our truck back. If you recall, last episode, we did the great Maxwell rescue mission, and you guys were extremely happy, and uh, you guys left a lot of thumbs up button. So, I mean, <laughs> if you guys want to do it again, uh, you know what to do. Hit it. Uh, we got the Maxwells. We're searching for a junkyard, trying to survive out here. It's been rather tough, but as you can see, it looks like we're about to fall off a mountain. <laughs> Me and mountains have not gotten along as of recent. This is how I lose my vehicles. Uh, big hills are bad, but I really should probably stop and pull those binoculars out and see if we can find ourselves a stop here. Okay, this is looking like a mighty fine stop to do that. Oh my goodness. Okay, brakes, brakes. Uh, parking brake. Oh my. Okay, come on. <laughs> come on. Uh, would you stop sliding, please? My. Oh my goodness. Okay, handbrake is on. I am out of control. Uh, okay. We're on a bit of an, a decline. Hold on. Let's turn it sideways. That way we don't slide or anything. Okay. Everything seemed good. Okay. Hold on. Step out. Look. Vehicle's not moving. So we're good. Also, look at our puny little tire. I'm still searching for a tire, by the way. All right. So let's give this a nice look over here. So. Hmm. Wait a minute. Look at it again. Look at it again. Look at it again. My goodness, that might be our junkyard. The only problem is, it's there. I think that's the crane. It hasn't fully loaded in. The road is over... Oh my goodness, it's like way over... Where is it? Oh, geez, it's over here. Hold on. Okay, check the rest of the area. Sometimes when the game loads in one location, they'll spam it a couple times. Uh, I'm hoping that maybe there's a closer one. I think that's the junkyard. Or it could be the plane. I don't think that's the plane. Is it the plane? No, that's too tall to be the plane. The plane kind of looks similar when it's not fully loaded in, but I think it's a lot shorter. I think that might be the junkyard. Hold on, look up the road. What is that? That's a glass building. That might be like a restaurant or something. Um, uh, what the... I don't know what the heck happened down here. Is that a dead? Oh my goodness! That person is dead! Um, okay, well, I didn't even see that happen. You know, it's gonna be funny, that probably happened in the background of my video and I wasn't paying attention. Uh, yeah. I think that's our stop, but the question is, do we dare actually travel that far off? Where did it go? Uh, <laughs> I can't even see it anymore. It's like, maybe it's right here? I don't- I wish we could place like a marker down or something to go find- the location um remember to the left of the two big tall canyon pieces you know there's something right there that might have some stuff for it i think we go for it that is a journey and a half though there is a chance i get lost i mean we kind of have a marker to look for so you know what you only live once let's you go for it here. it's fine if i can see the stop from there I should be able to turn back with my binoculars and see the road. At least that's what I'm thinking. I, I think we're gonna be fine. This is this is a thing. Of course, I've got to survive the trip over there. Uh, this is going to be a little bit on the sketchy side. But man, I hope there's. I'm hoping for like three or four vehicles over there. Strip down ones. Uh, they're gonna have some parts in there. I've got an engine in the back. I should have a radi. Yeah, there's a radiator under the hood back there. We have enough to get the car running. But I know it's going to be, oh my goodness, Komodo, you're going to switch vehicles again. But this was a plan before the diesel even appeared. Like, I wanted to do a junkyard build. I've been talking about it for probably over a week now. And this is our first opportunity. What, what I think is a junkyard. I could be wrong. Watch us get up there and it's a freaking plane. I'm thinking it's a junkyard, though. So... <laughs> Let's just try not to die on the way over there. Three hours later. All right, folks, we're getting close. I think that's the junkyard. Uh, it wasn't as far as I thought it was going to be. Like, it's... Okay, this is a thing. Hold on. Please load in. That, that's got to be it, right? Because you got the wall around it. You got the big tall tower, which is in the back of a plane wing. Why have you not loaded in yet? Wait, what if it actually just looked like that? It's just a random building that's just made of a bunch of shapes. Uh, I would be really, really disappointed. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. My goodness. It, there it is. We have finally found the junkyard. My goodness, it has been... Watch, wait. What if there's nothing in there? I honestly would be, I'd be furious. I probably would quit the episode like right now. I'd be like, you know what? I don't need this right now. Also, ooh, we gotta watch. Oh, I can test out my new gun. <laughs> yeah, I found a new gun last episode. It's really cool. Oh, it's lagging a little bit here. I think there's some good stuff in here. Okay, pull around. Let's just wait just a second. Okay, hold on. Get our new gun out. Check this thing out. Uh, I don't, I can't pronounce the gun name, but yeah, it's a mod. Uh, all right. Hello. 
Anybody in here? Huh? Junk. Where are the cars at? What the heck? Why is there why are there no cars in here? Hold on. Hello? Um, there's just a Jimmy on the bed. You've got to be no. No, I didn't come all this way just to have no Well. There's your junkyard build right there. Uh, there's a tow truck, huh? And there might be more to offer here. Okay, we got a, ooh, bike, no. Meh, not really feeling this. I'm kind of feeling the, oh, here we go. Oh, this is the flatbed version of it. Okay, so you got a couple options here. Now, I would be one to argue like, hey, take the tow truck, but we know that towing doesn't work that well in the game, at least not in its current form. So why would you not just take the flatbed? Also, there's an engine buried under the uh, sand here. So take the flatbed truck, not this one. I'm assuming the back would be physics locked, so we could, we'd be good, right? I mean, I'm kind of feeling like this should be a thing. Okay, let's uh, get the vehicle in. We're gonna pull in. I have a lot of the parts that I think we can get it running. Also, I totally just unloaded my gun. Did I just drop the magazine on the floor? I am stupid. Um, maybe we should just put this away. So yeah, I know some people are gonna be like, well, Komodo, that's not as good as the big truck here. But hear me out. I like that smaller truck. I, I like the size of it. Uh, I feel like it's, I don't know. It just feels a little bit more right to me. Plus it's so cool. Cause I mean, it's a freaking junkyard build. That's, that's amazing. Okay, so obviously we're gonna have to take apart this. Uh, I'm gonna need the tires, hon. I saw, oh yeah, we got some wheels back here. Also, there's a box here. What is in the box? What's in the box? Um, yep, that's just what I need, hats. Eh, uh, yay, hon, huh, what's in here? Uh, we got some oil, that's good. I've got some diesel aboard. Okay, well here's a question. Do we take the diesel motor? Or do we take the V8 motor that I have in the back? I mean, I'm kind of thinking that you might go with the V8 motor. Also, we're gonna have to take one of these poopy tires uh, just to get us rolling here, because I got three big good tires. Uh, but yeah, poopy tires are a thing too. All right, so hold on, let's check these bins real quick. Uh, some doors, some of these might be matching parts. I think that might be a bumper for one. Or that could be the bug bumper. Uh, some gauges in here. Uh, some wood paneling. What is in here? Oh my goodness, radiators galore, nice. And there actually is a big uh, bus engine in here. Huh, or is that the bus? Uh oh, anybody? Oh, hello. Ah, uh, you wanna stay out there? Yeah, he saw that gun and he just noped out of there. But yeah, look at this, we'd be able to fit the Maxwell in the cab. You know, does this have siding on it? Is there a side that I can mount? I wanna say maybe, but I think of the flatbed. I mean, it just, it looks cool. It's like, a, it's like you're in the diesel still, but you're in more of a compact version of it. Like this is really small. Uh, the tow truck has the, oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, yep, that happened. Yeah, but the tow truck has, I think, two axles in the back. So you're dealing with a little less here. It's a little shorter. I think it's almost like the perfect size, to be honest with you. So, I, you know, I think I'm happy with that. I think flatbed it is. Some people might be upset that you didn't go with, like, the flatbed tow truck version. But honestly, I, I think I like this. Uh, let's change it up here. Uh, let's go ahead and take the tires off. Uh, oh, yeah, this is going to be fun. Oh, and it's almost dark, too. Also, do I remember where the road is? It's to the right, but what way did I enter the tow or this uh, junkyard in? Eh, that'd be fine. I'm sure we'll find it. Jeez. Okay, hold on. Put this on. Okay. Wow, those wheels might be actually too big for that. We're going to have to go with it, I think, for now, but I might have to swap those out. I did not realize that was going to be that bad. Okay, let's go to sleep, and uh, we got another day of building here in the junkyard. All right, you smell that? That's probably the smell of rust, and you shouldn't breathe it in, but we got a build to do today. We got to get that thing running. I know it, it still probably is blowing people's mind. It's so counterintuitive, like, you've already got a diesel. Why are you doing this? I want to do this. That That is the reason. That's the only reason I want to do this. I mean, you got to keep the series going. You got to just keep doing, you know, different things here. Is it about to rain on us? Oh, my goodness. It's like the game is trying to set the mood. Also, it'd be nice if there were some lights in here. Uh, that is not a thing. Uh, also, anybody asking about going up in the crane? Uh, you can. Uh, you're not really supposed to. There's nothing up there. Uh, I use the glitch with the binoculars to do that. And... Yeah, there's a little message up there from the mod creator going, wow, I'm kind of surprised you did this. Uh, well, there's not anything up here, but, you know, congratulations. Why does it seem like the sun? I mean, I get that it's rainy and cloudy, but my goodness, it's still, like, dark out here. All right, you know, we need a, we need a work light, so here, just turn this on, and if I set this down, like, uh, like so, uh, I should be able to give myself a little bit of a work light, so let's go boom. All right, so we need to fit this in. I don't, this might poke out. 
maybe we should go with a different motor. I don't know. I feel like having the power of the V8. Oh, how am I going to get this in? Ew. I think I have to install this from the bottom on. Let's go. Oh, oh. Okay. We need to tip this over a little bit. And then we need to grab this and slide it. Hopefully under it and get it to stick. Yeah, this is a bit of an issue. Uh, maybe if I... Hold on. Let's put that big tire on the front. You know what? The game needs a jack. I feel like a, a jack or jack stands would be absolutely lovely. Like adjustable ones. So say you can adjust uh, your vehicle up really high. Just in case you can't wedge like a motor or something uh, down in a, uh, a bay. I feel like that'd be kind of cool. Or say you got something, I don't know, stuck to the bottom. Like you can actually get that out too. Okay, I need you to mount to this because there we go. All right, now we could totally slide this under here. Okay, so slide it under and then let's wait for a mount. I like how it says drink. I don't want to drink the motor oil. Like why? Oh, mount. Oh, that's not bad. Honestly, that'll work. Yeah, those tires look like, <laughs> those look ridiculous. Uh, I think we're in a normal size tire. I thought maybe it was going to be the big tire here. Uh, it is nasty outside. All right, uh, let's go ahead. Let's get the other tires on. I need to get the radiator, and I'll be able to pull it around this way. We'll search through those bins and start piecing together what we can. Uh, but I like this. This is going to be cool. Okay, I don't know, like, what my sleep pattern is. Something has happened because I, I can't tell. Like, is the sun coming up or is it going down? Like, I haven't even been here that long. I went to sleep and it's like my time's all screwed up. You know, I had a glitch uh, a couple episodes ago where it went from, like, day to instant night. Uh, very, very odd. Well, speaking of the devil and the timing there, what just happened? Well, at least I can see now. Okay, uh, so what I'm thinking here... Hmm, you know, I could have probably put the small tires on. I think nah, there, I might be one rim short. Uh, we got some coolant here, which that, and I think I might need to, ooh, that's got diesel in it. Uh, I need to get a tank. I could drain a tank and put it on there. I think I have to. Uh, I think there's a tank mounting spot. Uh, I didn't really think about that. Oh, let's get this in. There's a chance this radiator is going to be aimed backwards. Is that a thing? I don't like it because, yeah, the engine itself mounts in backwards. Uh-oh. Can I put a radiator on this? Is that a thing? Uh... Oh, okay. Hold on. Mount. Oh, it still mounts in the front on this vehicle. Okay, so technically, besides the gas situation, this thing should run. You know, I don't hate the big tires. I just wish they were slightly smaller because they go through the body right now. Okay, um gas i'm assuming i need to mount a tank under here so let's go ahead and size one up real quick and make sure that that works there is one half buried in here i don't even think i have my shovel anymore i think that's long gone uh we could pull this tank off i know it's got diesel in it right now but i just want to ensure that it works. actually i've got a smaller tank maybe we should use this one i know you're not getting as much fuel capacity in there but that one feels big and if i swapped those smaller tires down the road I feel like that big tank might bottom out a bit, so it probably would be smarter to install a tank like this. So if we go, you can mount a tank on this one, right? Or am I thinking of a different one here? Uh, is this not a mountable tank? Hold on. I'm looking at something wrong here. What is the, is there a fuel door on here? What is the configuration of this? I, I'm so confused. I, I swear there's a tank mounting spot under here. Uh, let me mess around with it for a second and figure this out. Uh, here we go. I, I knew there was a mounting spot. F to mount. There it is. Okay, so we do have a mounting spot for the, ta the tank. I was like, I don't know why it wasn't working on the other side. I'm pretty sure you could put it on either side. Uh, let's get a drink of water. I got a little bit of food out in the vehicle. And uh, yeah, we're going to put this, uh, I guess, yeah, we got the V8. So we need to just use our normal uh, motor here or our normal gas. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm too focused on trying to drink here. Okay, don't have a ton of gas in there. Got about 6.3 liters, but it should be enough to get this thing pulled around to the other side here. So crank it. Oh, yeah. oh man, that engine moving at our feet. Is there an engine cover for this one? Does anybody know? Uh, I want to say that there might be. Uh, I might be able to... Actually, do I even still have my engine cover? I don't know. I've been through so many violent crashes in the uh, the diesel that I don't, I'm not even sure I have that anymore. And, oh, look at us. All right, we got this moved out here. Okay, so let's search here. Uh, these doors, do they fit? I don't think they match up, do they? No, they don't. So we're looking for a door that's got kind of a curve at the bottom. Now, there's a chance that they gave us one of the doors. Uh, don't, definitely not that one. 
Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do about that. Uh, let's check the other bins. So we got like a bumper piece down here. I don't feel like that's the same. Does it share the same grill piece as the other one? No, it's a circular grill. It's got like, I think I remember it now. It's got like great pieces in the middle. Yeah, there's a chance we ain't gonna have anything here that we can really use. There's a hatch cover. We got some dials and stuff here. I'm pretty sure I can use these. Uh, I love these stops. These are so cool. By the way, this is not in the default game. It is in the, uh, I think it's points of interest pack. Uh, I believe it's Sergeant Joe uh, is what they are called on the Discord. Uh, they have created this haunts mount that. You know, I think we should be able to mount sides. Can I take the sides off this? I don't think that's a thing on this one, but if I take the doors off, can I just put these on the side? Uh, yeah, because I kind of like the whole fact there's a little bit of security, so let's go clunk. I mean, it's goofy looking, but if I found one more, do we have one more? I don't that might be a thing in here, huh? No. Uh, that's just a big piece of metal. Got some more radiators. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to find anything else with this. Hold on. Let's go ahead and put these gauges in. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure it'll fizz lock. Okay, so that's just a speedometer. Is this the... This is also a speedometer, is it not? Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we don't need two of those. Here, let's just rip out some of... Can I rip... What just flew out the front? I don't know what the heck that was. All right, well, we're gonna rip some parts off this. Obviously, we got lights and stuff that we can mount in here. Uh, I could take the bumper. I think the bumper will fit on there. I don't know if there's really a purpose. I guess it is like an extra little piece of armor. So here, let me fit that bumper on there. Uh, mount. Little bit on the big side, but you know what, it works. Okay, load up the cats. Uh, hello, all the Maxwells. Uh, how are you guys doing? There is a, like a door wedged in. Actually, I think this one's the our normal Maxwell is going to stick it right there. Uh, I want to say there's there's a door in there. I don't think it's the right door. Or maybe it is. You know, that top door looks like it fits. It's a question of how do I get it unlodged? It's been lodged ever since my big accident up in the top, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to get it unlodged. All right, cats, let's go to the back. You're going to you guys are going to actually have like a little bit of air here. It's going to be nice and uh, breezy in the back. Hopefully the fizz lock is good on that vehicle. Hold on, let's try to get this. Ooh, I feel like I'm gonna wind up dying here doing this. Hold on, stand back. Why is it like it's about to explode? Okay, what about the top one? Can I get that one out? Oh, uh, hold on. Is that, is that a door? Is that a rear? It looks like a rear door. I mean, no, I think it'll work on this side. Hold on. Uh, well, no, it's the window itself. It is a rear door. Like the shape almost matches. Yeah, unless you're sticking it on backwards, which I don't think, eh, nope, that's not a thing. Uh, what about the other door? Yeah, it sucks. I have like zero parts for this uh, as far as the doors and oh my goodness. Yeah, I feel like this is about to explode. All right, I'm going to grab some more pieces off this and then we're going to give this thing a go. Uh, we wanted to do a build from scratch, but we're doing it here today, folks. Uh, <laughs> did I make the right decision? I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like it's always fun to change up vehicles, keep building, keep evolving. So I'm going to assume that everything's going to be okay here. Well, I mean, we kind of have this place to ourselves. We might as well go ahead and just stay the night here. You know, turn on some TV. Uh, maybe grab the Jimmy that's over here. Uh, is it? Yeah, it's Jimmy. I don't know. I keep calling him Frankie for some reason. Uh, all right, Jimmy. You know, you can ride in there uh, beside the cat. And yeah, I mean, we got a we got a thing here. We can we can get moving on. Take the health kit there. Been looking for one of those. Oh, you guys got some free food. Oh yeah, you guys got food up in here. Look at that. My goodness, it's absolutely glorious. You love to see it. Let's go and eat all their stuff. You know, there's probably some like very hungry person is going to come back to this and be like, oh man, I was saving that croissant and cookie. Uh, so, yep, favorite editor moment. Uh, I am, I'm making a mess inside of this house. You know, you, you got to let the stuff out. If not, you can't eat and uh, drink anymore. And then, you know, it, it turns to be like a, a big issue. So, you know what? We're just going to go to sleep here. All right. I think we are packed up, ready to go. I went ahead and just left some of the parts here that just aren't very necessary to me. Now, here comes the, uh, the grand old question. Can we find the road from here? I feel like we can. Also, I totally have this in a very inconvenient freaking spot. Oh my, you've got to be kidding me. Hey, can you, can you move over a little bit? Huh? Is this, is this thing? I don't know why I'm so strong. Like, how am I able to do that? All right, look at us at our silly junkyard build. Um, yeah, it looks like everything's, is it physics locked back there? Or am I going to have to move the cats inside? They look like they're moving a little bit, but it's like half physics locked. Also, hold on. Oh my goodness, they're not physics locked back there. Okay, the cats are coming inside. You know, it seems like the tires are. Okay, you guys need to come inside. I'm not going to risk this. We're not having another catastrophe. Huh? See what it did there? Oh, that was unbearably loud. Okay, um, road. There it is. All right. It's, it's right 
almost in front of us. So uh, maybe, no, it actually is right in front of us. I was looking over a little bit. All right, so we know where the road is. Oh my goodness, cats, can you please stay in? Maybe they're trying to escape me. Hey, everybody's locked down. All right, well, let's get moving. Let's let this journey commence. You know, we could build, now that I think about it, maybe we could build like a cage or something over this. I don't know. It might even just be a temporary thing. Maybe we're just going to try to fix this up, paint it up, and make it look nice. Uh, I do like the flat, and I like that it's a smaller, more compact style diesel. Uh, the tires, though, not exactly loving those, but, you know, I'll get over it. At least we know where the road is. At least we're going to get back on our journey, and we've done, I would say, part one of the junkyard build. We really do need to fix this thing up a little bit. Uh make it nice and shiny it's gonna take a lot of work by the way you know i said it was like a diner stop or something the diners are really good also i like this one because it is definitely lighter than the other truck and with this v8 motor it's not overwhelming in power like it feels like the perfect amount of power right now like we're cruising across the desert you know the tires are actually doing a pretty good job too uh as long as it doesn't like catch and flip i think we're actually in decent shape uh so yeah uh, objective is clean it up secure the back somehow i'm pretty sure there's pieces is made for this vehicle that you could stick along the side uh, i think the diner oh oh my goodness yeah i think the diner would have that uh so that's definitely something we need to find uh next but let me know what you guys think and we'll see you guys next time